In this paper, we present a general purpose tool for collision avoiding optimization of surfaces. Our tool is based on the tangent point energy, a repulsive energy of global range that naturally provides an infinite barrier to intersections. The ability to avoid intersections is vital for many tasks across the domains of mathematical visualization, geometry processing, and computational design. While one's first instinct might be to simply apply repulsion to all pairs of vertices, this is highly unstable in practice, even with constraints preventing area growth. By starting with a smooth energy with desirable properties and employing a principled discretization, we obtain a much better behaved flow. The ability to optimize surfaces while avoiding collisions makes the tangent point energy a valuable tool for visualizing such isotopies. For example, here we have an interlinked pair of handcuffs. Can you imagine a transformation that would unlink these cuffs without colliding and without breaking or pinching the surface? By just minimizing the tangent point energy on both the linked and unlinked states, we can find exactly this transformation between the two. Here's another example. The outside of this punctured torus is colored red, and the inside is colored blue. Can you think of a collision-free way to turn the torus inside out, so that the blue side is facing outward? Once again, the tangent point energy shows us how. We first flow to a symmetric mid-surface of zero signed volume, mirror the deformation, and then apply it in reverse to reach the inside-out state. As shown here, the tangent point energy, in conjunction with our specialized optimization method, can unknot or otherwise simplify a wide variety of embeddings, consistently producing smooth isotopies to the minimizers. This is in contrast to other classical surface energies, such as Wilmore energy, which, while providing other desirable qualities, are not aware of collisions and thus do not preserve the topology of the embedding. Our system can jointly optimize the tangent point energy and other energies such as Wilmore, providing the benefits of both. Our system can optimize surfaces of high complexity, for instance these very high genus handle bodies, and flow them to simple and regular minimizers. We can see here that the minimizers tend to exhibit a very high degree of symmetry, suggesting that the method does not easily get stuck in local minima. Using these tools, we can visualize objects or transformations that might be otherwise difficult to describe. This animation of a double torus unlinking itself from a pole, for instance, mirrors the diagram at right but was generated just by minimizing our energy. We can also compute never-before-seen surfaces, such as these canonical embeddings of all genus 2 isotopy classes with up to 6 crossings. Our optimization framework can also incorporate many secondary objectives, making it useful for general geometry processing tasks. These include control over area and volume, obstacles, and many more. In this case, we add an inner mesh as an obstacle, start with a large bounding sphere, and then force the enclosed volume to shrink. This produces a tight bounding volume, or shrink wrapping, of the inner surface. If we repeatedly shrink wrap the outermost layer like this, we end up with a series of nested cages, which can be useful in editing or simulation contexts. The same shrink wrapping technique can be applied to point clouds with or without normals. By shrink wrapping a point cloud, we obtain a reconstruction that bounds all of the points. This reconstruction approach can be applied even to poorly sampled point clouds or fragmented polygon soups, producing sensible results in either case. The ability to control volumes and surface areas can also be used to model interesting design objectives, some of which can mimic biological phenomena. In this case, we place a sphere inside of a bounding volume and force its surface area to increase while avoiding the boundary. In order to increase its surface area, the model must develop wrinkles and folds, resulting in a shape resembling a walnut inside its shell. The same can be done with multiple disconnected shapes. If all of these initially small spheres are forced to increase their volume within this fixed region, the result is an irregular packing where all of the shapes conform to the available space around them. The result resembles a cobblestone block which can then be tiled due to the square bounding volume that was used. 
Live collision avoidance can also be useful for interactive modeling. In this case, we've pinned the ends of these bars and removing the pins toward each other. Instead of passing through each other, the bars bend to proactively avoid colliding. We can also automatically resolve small collisions by deliberately optimizing a weaker version of our energy. We hope to explore collision resolution further in future work. In summary, the tangent point energy is an effective, general purpose tool for collision avoidance, and these are just a few of the ways in which we believe it's useful. Thank you for watching.